welcome back. So today we are finally doing the assumptions about me video. Before I get into it, I just want to put my favourite comments from the last video here. I love them. Thank you so much. You guys have been amazing and I'm really glad you guys enjoy the content. I'll put a little thing above to say where to check it out or what it is if you're new. And obviously don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Get into it! <clears throat> okay. Dark Angel said, I assume you're not that nice in IRL as you are on stream. I mean, yeah, I'm probably not as nice in IRL as I am in stream. Not in a way that I'm being fake, but I wouldn't go on stream if I was like in a bad mood or didn't think I could handle being on stream. So I think you're kind of right because I keep those kind of moments private and to myself but when I am in those kind of moods where I don't feel like I'm going to be the friendliest person I also try and tend to... my tendency is just to separate myself from people. If you piss me off, just like everybody else, I'm not going to be that nice. But I'm, I'm not a bad person, I'm, I'm normally pretty happy to be honest. Yeah. I'm normally pretty happy. Yeah, thank you for that one. That was good. I assume you secretly eat banana mayonnaise sandwiches while watching your neighbours mow their lawn in your pyjamas. Then Milo judges you until you stop. Shut up! For fuck's sake! <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> Last time it was Pigeon, today is Shadow. No. Moving on. Tom said, you prefer story to action in games. I mean, kind of. I guess. I do really like my story games, but then I do really like action as well. And then those two combined, for me, is like the perfect game. Like Red Dead, I really loved Red Dead. You did all sorts of different things, there was a lot of different stories going on, and there was also a lot of action in it. If you know what I mean. I'm pretty good at getting lost in a story as well when it comes to games. Like, those are normally the games I tend to get super, super addicted to compared to just a game where it's just action and no story, you know? So yeah, you got that right. And uh, number three! <laughs> Good girl. I assume you're a more vulgar and troller in real life than in stream. This is probably 100% true. I've tried to get better at this. So I've always had this thing where I somehow end up censoring myself and I think quite a lot of the time I probably censor myself too much to the point where I feel like there's a lot about me that you guys don't actually know. I'm also much better being myself and letting go and being more vulgar or troller with people that I'm also more comfortable with. So, and like, because when you're more comfortable with someone, you know them better, you kind of know how to push their buttons and how not to push their buttons. So I guess that's why I'm probably more careful. And I feel like I'm probably becoming more vulgar and more troller in streams now with, I don't know, I feel like my confidence and everything's building up and I am trying to be more myself. That is my goal for this year. It's like push myself and my boundaries and just, Bloody do it! Also, I'm trying not to swear really badly too. Yeah! So love it. Love it. Thanks, Kagrill. I assume you're still cringing about dancing for 15 minutes while not only being live on Twitch. Yeah! Yeah! I mean, I feel more less cringe and just I find it hysterically funny now I watch it. Basically, I made a new raid alert for my stream for when people raided me obviously and it's a song that I really love and also like the dance I'm doing in it um we might put a clip somewhere to show you me doing that file file not found off off stream dancing to it over and over again looking very happy with myself not knowing I was streaming basically I accidentally hit my stream deck that's what happened and Everyone saw something they weren't supposed to see. Luckily, it was just me dancing like an absolute retard. Oh my fucking god. For fuck sakes. Big Mac, I assume you were a porn star before you were a streamer. Okay, now you're just messing with me. You did not think I was a porn star. Especially with how shy and quiet and held together I was. 
okay? I assume you're not into story driven games. Ericus, I love story driven games. He's only saying this because I don't always finish the story games on stream and I apologize for that. Some of them are really long story games and sometimes I just want to do a bit offline, okay? Okay? And there's a lot that I have. In fact, I have finished more story games on stream than I haven't finished story games on stream. So, screw ya. Freak, I assume that the i9 will be worth half of what it was when you brought it, when you finally installed it. This is probably true. I need a new motherboard that's compatible with this new processor. And I keep forgetting to get it, or I keep doing other things like going on holiday and, well, holiday next month. I will get there, it will happen. Ferreira, I assume you'd like to learn pole dance if you really don't know it. Um, I wonder why you say that. I mean, I always kind of thought pole dancing was quite cool and it's very different compared to other sports and it's all very, very, very good for your core strength and toning. You do get very strong from doing pole dancing, but I don't think I'd do it myself. It just doesn't look very comfortable and I feel like all my areas will be like all over the place you know I feel like I'll be flapping about up there and up and down and swinging and doing pole dancing plus my glasses would literally fall off every two seconds see <laughs> every two seconds so probably not for me I don't know how to pole dance I've had a go in a club before but that's like a whole story. Joe, I assume when you're drunk you're extremely flirty. True! <laughs> I am or can be very flirty when I am drunk. I can be pretty flirty or playful when I'm not drunk. I am quite a playful person and I feel like when I am playing with people I'm not actually meaning to be flirty so it's not even that I'm trying to be flirty. I am sometimes just very naturally flirty. How many times? Flirty, 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 flirty. Especially, obviously, you let yourself go when you're drunk as well. So I say even stupider things when I'm drunk compared to when I am sober. I feel like there's definitely a line there, like, no, no, I don't know. I feel like people get confused and they think I fancy them when I don't. <laughs> what is that called? Does that mean I'm a tease? I'm not really a tease. This is getting too much. This, <laughs> this is from all assumption. We're moving on. I'm going to assume you are five seven. Not sure that's ever been brought up. Lol. I'm actually five foot six, and if you want to be really, really, really precise, I'm actually five foot six and a half. And a half. Yeah. That's average size here. I mean, I'm okay with my height. I feel like my height is a bit too tall to be wearing heels. Not that I'm really a heel person. But I do feel like when I do wear heels, I tower over a lot of guys, which I'm not really that keen on. I'd rather be down here, especially with my, my boobs. That just gives them more of a, you know, face height, boobs, bad. Yeah, I'm five foot six and a half. Wait, did we already do the assumptions? Are you kidding me? Mate, wait, that's Q&A. That's Q&A, we're going Wait. Na 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 Fuck. Oh wait. I went all the way back up for this one. For this assumption by Ericus. I assume you have a full fetish. Pervy face. Fuck's sakes. I don't even have a bull fetish! I have a bull fetid. I just say bulls a lot. I feel like when I'm saying bulls, I'm actually just trying to be more polite and rein it in instead of like swearing a lot. So I have been known to say bulls a lot. Even though I don't feel like I say bulls as much, but I definitely had a period there where I said bulls a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Well, thank you so much guys for all your assumptions. Even some of them that were really stupid or just really silly. But I feel like we had a good mix. I don't know why, but I was expecting maybe a few more like meaner ones. If you ever want to do like a meaner one, if we do this again, then please just go ahead because it's actually quite fun to answer them. Thank you so much guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be now. 
I know you guys wanted another Q&A, so maybe put some more Q&A questions down below. I'll probably do something different next week for a video, do something more exotic. Maybe I'll do that ASMR reaction video of how I feel about ASMR, since you guys liked my actual ASMR so much. Let's, let me, let you see how I am when I watch ASMR. Be like flipping it round. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, thank you so much. Love you, goodbye, and I'll see you next week.